Let's uh, talk about something that's more in your portfolio area and we're looking at Victoria this morning. 300,000 people still mm. uh, without power. It's going to take days, if not weeks, for that power to be restored. Now, under that uh, is a failure of the system um, in many ways. What does this uh, tell us? Of course, uh, the um, ageing coal-fired power plant has been uh, damaged, but also renewables haven't stepped up in its place has it? So there's a problem with the system as a whole, well, Victoria. Yeah, th there's a few things to say about this, Laura, but the very first thing to say is that we are um, watching with grave concern what uh, Victorians who are facing bushfires right now are experiencing. Yeah. Uh, we know that it is a very difficult time for those bushfire-affected communities uh, and for the um, emergency personnel who are fighting to save lives and, and homes. So all of our thoughts are with those communities. Um, on the issue of the, the blackouts, look, it, it's very difficult. When you have catastrophic uh, weather conditions uh, like we've seen and poles and wires are coming down, uh, there's, um, you know, there's a, a, a degree to which that's unavoidable. It just, it just doesn't matter uh, what governments are doing, you, you can't stop the storm bringing down the telegraph wires. What we are doing, of course, is working with these ageing coal-fired power stations to replace the capacity that they represent. So the previous government was told that 24 coal-fired power stations were going to close. They did nothing to prepare for those closures. In contrast, we're investing in poles and wires. We've got a $20 billion rewiring the nation program and we're investing in the cheaper, cleaner, renewable energy that will power our homes and businesses. Already in my portfolio, um, we've ticked off on 42 renewable energy projects, enough to power 2 million Australian homes. That's what's going to make the difference. Uh, of course, we also need to um, continue to make sure that we're using power efficiently. We need to make sure we've got yeah. um, firming capacity behind those renewable projects. That means wind, it means pumped, sorry, it means batteries, it means pumped hydro projects. Of course, we are absolutely working as a government to make sure that capacity is there. Again, in contrast, we've got an opposition who says, oh yeah, the solution to this is nuclear. I mean, it's just nuts. They're talking about something approaching $400 billion and there's $398 billion or something is the estimate of what it would cost. And we couldn't build any of these for a decade. Uh, it, it's just, you know, having presided over 10 years of um, failure to plan for this tra tra uh, transition, for failure to plan for the, the 24 coal-fired power stations that said they were going to close, they're now saying, oh, yeah, the solution's 10 years away and it's going to cost every Australian taxpayer's tw $25,000. Uh, you know, it's extraordinary. Well, we'll get a reply to that from Jane Hume later in the program. Minister, thank you for your time. And happy Valentine's Day to all your viewers. <laughs> and me? <laughs> And, and you too, of okay, course, Laura. <laughs> okay, appreciate it.